Hi, this is the video tour for 10109 Quail Hutch Drive. Right out here is the entryway. We have a driveway that is big enough. We fit two cars here. There's a garage there. It's a converted garage. Not quite enough room for a car, but some extra storage space there. Let me take you inside. Before we go, it's on a nice little cul-de-sac. All the neighbors are super nice and friendly. Very nice and quiet. We're going on inside. Have a nice entryway. Leads right into the living room. Nice high ceilings. Plenty of space. We have a pretty large sectional couch that fits in here quite nicely. A lot of space. Leads right into the backyard. We'll just go take a look out there right now. Out here in the backyard, you have a screened-in porch. It's nice during the summer. Light out here as well, so you can come out here at night and enjoy some nice Texas evenings. Out here, there's a craftsman's shed. There's a little bunch of cacti around. Nice big backyard, lots and lots of space. We have a dog here, and so that's been really great. Plenty of room to put in a little garden like we did. And then there's a gate that'll go right out front and a side door that I'll show you in a second. And so come back inside. I'm gonna go through here, through the hallway. This is uh, one of the bedrooms. It's the smaller of the three. Use it for an office space right now. Nice room, room enough for two desks. Got a closet in here that you can use for storage. We're using it for that right now. And this is the second bedroom. Nice space. Has a window right out to the front yard. Has closet space as well with the doors that open to the side. Still plenty of room to store all your stuff. It'll take us to the first bathroom is right off the hallway. Recently renovated within the last two years. There is closet space in here with plenty of storage for any of your toiletries or first aid kit, all that stuff. And we'll come in here. And this is the shower room, which connects the two bathrooms. Nice subway tile, again, renovated within the last two years. Nice and large. We'll come in through the other bathroom. So this bathroom is connected to the third and final bedroom. Once again, recently renovated. Window to the outside, but kind of the tinted glass so no one can see in. This is the third and largest bedroom. And you can see this one has a window right out to the backyard. You have nice flowering trees in the spring and summer and they're really pretty. So plenty of space. We'll take a look in the closet right here. Got it full right now, full of lots of room to store stuff. Shelves up top. Plenty of space to store a lot of things. A nice walk-in closet. Alright. Come back through the hallway. Let me go back to the living room towards the little dining and kitchen combined space. Nice little dining nook right here. Window right onto the backyard. Plenty of space to have a, a table. We found the circle table works pretty well. Um, you can see this feeds just right back into the, the living room there. Fridge was here when we got here. Obviously stove was as well. I believe this was all renovated a couple years before we moved in. Probably four years ago or so. Sink as you're doing dishes. You can look right back over the backyard. And then I'll take you to the converted garage. The converted garage, the garage proper is back there through that door. 
The rest of this has been converted so you kind of get a bonus room. Um, we used it for an office space as well. So we got two bedrooms and two offices in here essentially. A bunch of nice shelving. This also doubles as the laundry space. There was not a laundry or a washer and dryer provided here when we got here, so these will be going with us, but there are hookups for both of them and it was super easy to set up. This is the side door over here I mentioned earlier. And this oh, oh, lead right to the side yard. And there's that gate that I mentioned earlier, right there and there's the shed. So water tank is in in here, right by the side door. And then we'll finish up with a view into the garage. We're using it as heavy storage space right now, but it's got a plenty of room. Got room for a kayak in here. There's a little work table if you want to do any craft projects. Some nice cubbies. Room enough to keep a grill in here. And then this lifts up really nice and easy just by hand. There's a little a uh, little rope over here that you can pull up and that makes it super nice and easy. Um, so take us back out to the living room. And then this is the view of the entryway as you are leaving what could be your new home. So take one last final view outside. And yeah, that is 10109 Quail Hutch Drive.